well, maybe I should make him a sandwich. <laughs> oh, Dad, that's your solution to everything. <laughs> Dad! Ah! Dad! What? Eight is enough. <laughs> <laughs> what? What it is, guys? It's Boy Blast from Miss HD, and you guys have sent me a Family Guy Try Not to Laugh Challenge. That's good because it's currently 3:30 in the morning, and I don't even feel like sleeping. Let's do this. It's as if we were meant to be together. Indeed. Wow. This must be how Maverick felt when what's he met up, Goose. The I feel the need, the, the need, need for speed. speed, and Scientology. No, just speed. That's She's not speed. that old. Old as Malcolm in the Middle in season 15. Malcolm, Dad Season drove 15. the car over your science project. Oh, brother. How am I going to survive junior high school with this screwed up family? And me, in the middle of it all. A bunch of brothers living together? What a way to run a railroad. We now return to the All in the Family and Modern Family crossover episode. Hello, Mr. Bunker. We brought some hummus. Oh, uh, yeah, I knew them two was hummus the minute they walked in the door. You dirty oh, motherfucker. This is awful. <laughs> Why does Dad seem so much easier in the Rocky movies? Goodbye, Mick. Oh, uh, well, you just gonna put him in a drawer? What do you like, filing them? Yes, for tax huh? reasons. Jews don't die, they just slowly depreciate and then are eventually written off. We now return to the Super Friends Accountant. Look, you guys are hemorrhaging money. This Hall of Justice is sitting on five acres of commercial real estate. How do you afford this? We're the Super Friends. Yeah, but you guys have no income. You owe $4 million in back property taxes. We fight evil wherever we find it. Well, that's not going to be enough. Look, you may need to reach out to some wealthy benefactors for financial backing. Do any of you know billionaire Bruce Wayne? No, none of us do. And he wouldn't want to lend us money anyway. Nope. I hear. Coming this fall, if you loved Everybody Loves Raymond, then you'll love his brother Robert even more in Robert. I bet you Deborah really gave it to Ray today. I bet you she made a sandwich that wasn't very good, but he ate it anyway. And then she got mad at him because he gave her a funny look. I miss Ray. Oh. The wow, the best of the world's wildest police chases. <gasps> and it even has the one with the Flintstones. Oh. Amazingly, this drunk driver turns left into oncoming traffic. He narrowly misses hitting a pedestrian who jumps out of the way just in time. Now the driver can add attempted battery to the charges. The driver turns right into the parking lot of a drive-in movie theater. At this point, the dinosaur in the back seat pokes his head up through the roof and the driver places two small children on top of it. Now he's not only endangering his own life, but their lives as well. The driver totals the car and makes a run for it. But the pursuing ah! officers are prepared. Ah! Running from the cops, yabba dabba don't. Well, Durwood, ah! now you really are the big man of the house. Ah! Mother, change him back. You know, Andorra, uh, I'm getting a little sick of this crap. You ever seen one of these? Huh? You know what this is? Huh? No. Holy yeah, water? It's holy water. Huh? Yeah? Try it. Ah! Yeah? How's that feel? Ah! Yeah? You like that? Ah! Yeah? The power of Christ compels you, bitch. Ah! I hate bewitched. Ah! Ah! Oh. We now return to Curb Your Enthusiasm, where Jeff Garland just repeats everything Larry says. So, I put on the shirt? You put on the shirt! I paid for it? You paid for it! Uh, I'm starting to think you're, uh, the weakest link in the cast. Easily the weakest link! Oh, there you are. You would not believe the morning. I'm gonna keep everyone on this street safe, like Captain America. Captain America, can I see your shield for a second? Sure, here you go. He's just a guy. Well, I bet if Hillary Clinton becomes senator, she'll straighten it out. Even though she could never straighten out Bill. <laughs> I love when you use topical humor. It's just like watching Murphy Brown. Hey, Murphy. Blah, 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 Johnson Unu. Murphy. Blah, 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 Tipper Gore. Hey, Murph, you can't blah, 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 the Ayatollah. Blah, 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 Bishop Desmond Tutu. Blah, blah. We now return to How I Met Your Father. Oh, Barney, I'm never going to meet the right girl and get married. You know, Ted, don't you think it's kind of strange for a guy in his 20s to always be talking about getting married rather than getting laid? Yeah. Barney, I'm in love with you. Suit up. Suit? No. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Is there sound? Oh. Huh? Huh? Oh. You get it. Oh, shit. Love always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, <laughs> endures all things. Love never ends. Love never fails. Corinthians 13, verses 4 through 8. What the devil do you think happened to Bobby when they added Cousin Oliver to the Brady Bunch? Oliver, did you break this vase? No, the floor did. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. Hey, everybody, I... Bobby, you get back in the garage. No, ah, ah, ow. There's a little bit of good in everyone, except that president guy from the Hunger Games. He was pretty bad. This year, in addition to the Hunger Games, we're going to do the special Hunger Games. I'm Andy. I love you, Andy. Come on, guys, fight. I am not an experienced lover. Don't worry. It's my first time, too. Wow, I guess everybody has a first time. Even Maverick from Top Gun. Thank you, you pretty lady. Up. You better shut up and pipe. You know, I appreciate you letting me stay with you, but I'm perfectly capable of going to the bathroom by myself. Sorry, but there's a leash law in this neighborhood, and you never know who's watching. Ha 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 I'm watching you make stool. And now, back to Jake and the Fat Man. Hey, look over here on the carpet. That's a cigarette butt. This is probably evidence. Oh. Well, what do you think was in that Danish? You think it was cheese? Because I, uh, I got a little problem with cheese. Hey, I'm talking about evidence here. There's lipstick on it. Yeah, well, can you bring it over to me? I can't move it. This is a crime scene. Well, uh, well can you describe it to me? You know what? Forget it. I'll take care of this, okay? Oh, no, 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 no. Just, uh, just, uh, just, just, just let me close my eyes for a minute. Look, I know his wife is a smoker. Just yesterday, when we saw her at the country club, she had a cigarette in her hand. Pop. I'm just going to give it all I've got, like Scotty engineering the Enterprise. Scotty, we need more speed. I'm giving her all she's got, Captain. She can't take any more. Damn. Chekhov, reroute auxiliary power to the helm. Uh, Scotty, the bridge. Uh, Captain, this is, uh, this is a little room. embarrassing, but, uh, you know, I've never noticed uh, the little lever I've been pushing. It's, it's only about two-thirds of the way up. I, I actually can give her more. That's great, Scotty. Mr. Spock, give us readings on... Uh, C Captain uh, Scotty again. Yeah, you're not going to believe this. Uh, there is another lever here, too. The ship can literally go three times as fast. I, I'm i sorry, but I feel like such a capital J jerk right now. It's okay, Scotty. Uh, Lieutenant Uhura, open all channels for... Captain, I, I've, I've got to uh, interrupt again. I, I've just been thinking about this, this given her all she's got thing. I mean, I, I've been completely wrong for years now. I, I feel terrible. I mean, think of how many crises we've been in where the issue was how Ooh. fast we could go. I, I mean, I'm Ooh. sorry, Captain. Scotty, it's okay. No, it's no. Eric's dead. At the funeral, I literally said the words to his wife. I was giving her all she's got. Scotty, it's fine. Sulu, lock phasers. Captain, I just got to jump in here. We, we don't have enough dilithium crystals to run the phasers. I've, I've lost all credibility, Ooh. haven't I? Excellent. Now I'm prepared to fight the tooth fairy. Just like Jerry thought comedy on the facts of life. Hey, Blair, did you find a purse at the mall? Actually, I found seven. <laughs> One for every day of the week. I know talent when I see it. I mean, I discovered Mr. Peanut. Ordinary legume. Ordinary legume. Extraordinary Peanut! Peter, have you seen Stewie's Speedy Gonzalez video? He won't go to sleep without it. I threw it away. What?! What the hell, man? I didn't throw away your stuff. Pina, why would you do that? Because Speedy Gonzalez is an immigrant and a bad influence on our children. So I created his American equivalent, Rapid Dave. I got you now, mouse. Yeah? Well, up yours, cat. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Run fast, run fast, quickly. We now return to Frosty the Snowman. There was indeed some magic in that old silk hat, along with duct tape, zip ties, and some very troubling Polaroids. Now, come on. Let's forget our problems and get lost in the world of books. Ooh, Horton hears domestic violence in the next apartment and doesn't call 911. 
You think it's easy working all day? No. You think I, I like it? I don't think it's easy, but yes, I do think you like no, it. No, I, yeah, I like being away from you because I can't stand looking at you. You can't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You think I want to do that? You think I want to hurt you? That is I don't want to hurt you. you I'm sure there's two sides to this. Me hurt you. Now, I'm going to put the TV remote down by your feet, and I'm going to turn on two and a half men. If your baby isn't totally brain dead, it'll come rushing out to change a channel. And when he does, I'll grab his hand and yank him out of there. Peter, I don't think... Shh, it's Daddy. Two and a half men was filmed in front of a live ostrich. Boy, this stinks. It's Friday night, and I don't have a date. Well, then, let me get you a number from my little black book. Ha-ha! <laughs> You know, he wrote all those Kentucky Fried Chicken jingles. I don't care for them. Not after what happened to Foghorn Leghorn. I say, I say son, what, what do we got brewing in here? I was walking by when I picked up the smell of 11 herbs and spices. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Look at that boy. Running all around like a chicken with his head. Cut. Wait a minute. Damn it, why can't I get any reception? Because we're in a basement in the middle of nowhere. Besides, if cell phones worked, every movie would be two minutes long. Like an affair to remember. Damn, bitch. Yeah, yeah. Darling, I was running to the Empire State this. Building to see you, but I got hit by a car. No wonder you were late. Just hit by Help a car. Right now. Are you okay? L O L. I, I may be paralyzed. I'm sorry, there's nobody here by that name. Damn. I haven't been this grateful since I met the Sane Hatter. Excuse me, how do I get back through the looking glass? Oh, yeah. Take two lefts, and it's the first door on your right. Cool, great. Thanks for not giving me the runaround. I, I asked that guy over there, but he just told me a bunch of rhyming nonsense. Oh, yeah. He's like a well-known dick. Please never let this happen again. I won't, Adam. You're the only mayor for me. Hey, Carol. I almost didn't recognize you without my special sauce all over your face. And I'm sure Buzz Lightyear would have enjoyed it if you had bothered to show up. Hey, how would you like to go to my apartment? And beyond. Don't worry, Brian, I'll come up with something. Remember, I'm the guy who came up with the choreography to Showgirls. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Elizabeth, darling, too much hands, not enough hips. Can I just show you? One, two, three, four, I'm dancing from my vagina. One, two, three, four, I'm grinding, I'm grinding. Orgasm eyes, orgasm eyes, and we're done. You do 20% that, and we got a movie. Jeez, Joe, let it go. Yeah, Joe, even RoboCop took a day off once in a while. Nope. Well, can we at least do some Muppet-style sightseeing first? Lois, I'm a guy you can trust with a task. I'm the one who almost conquered the dragon's lair. Dragon's lair! Boy, you're more persuasive than James Bond. Now, time oh. for some unfinished business. No, James. Yes. No, James. Yes, you are going to have sex with me. No, James, I don't want to. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Yes, you do. Okay, yes. See that? Fifty no's and a yes means yes. This is going to kick Which more ass than true? that magical ride I took. Well, we are officially lost. On the Great Space Coast... Shut up, Ricky! Just shut up right now! Unless the next words out of your mouth are directions how to get back to the fish skeleton, I'm gonna punch you right in the stomach. Lois, I am gonna grow a mustache. And I'll have it made, like the Monopoly guy. Except when he goes directly to jail. I wish I could tell you that the Monopoly guy fought the good fight, and the sisters let him be. I wish I could tell you that.
But prison is no fairy tale world. Be careful you don't fall off that ladder. Not all dogs go to heaven. So, says here you're involved in the plotting of September 11th? Well, that's what they get for supporting Israel. Yuck, 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 gosh. Okay, into the eternal pit of fire you go. When you poop in your dreams, you poop for real. What? I need a status report on that hydraulic grapple winch. Guys? We're busy. We're hanging out with Aquaman. I told you, I'm not Aquaman. I am the Submariner. What's your deal? I'm just like Aquaman, but I can't get fish to do things. That's the big thing. I mean, isn't that all Aquaman does? No, he can also breathe underwater, and he's strong, like me. Isn't everyone strong underwater? No, no, not like me. I can punch a big octopus a really long way. Hey, guys. Hey, Aquaman. <laughs> yeah. Hey, make a fish do something. Oh, shucks, guys. I don't know. I guess I could do something like this. Wow, a real superhero. I I have little wings on my feet. It's over. It's over. I'd rather work for Dr. Frankenstein. Oh. Igor, I did it! Oh. Hold on. You discovered the power to create new life, and you created a guy? So, I should have made a woman so I could have sex with a corpse? I don't know, man. You just shouldn't have made a guy. Well, looking better doesn't always solve your problems, Lois. Sure didn't work for Droopy Dog when he got that facelift. Oh. Contrary to my appearance, I'm still not happy. Please study my brain so that others don't suffer as I have. Bye, nigga. All right, let's give it a try. Can't be any worse than when I was on the Night's Watch. Hey, guys, you all want to say the oath again? <laughs> oh. For the watch. Oh. For the watch. Oh. For the watch. Uh, oh. Hi, Brian. Oh. I'm the boring storyline of the fat guy that's watching that girl. And I'm ballers. Ow. <laughs> oh. I totally get it. You're right to do this. Uh -huh. I say, what brings you here? Stewie, hey. I'm here to find and kill the monster that's been causing all your nightmares. Well, that sounds wonderful. Let's do it. Oh, but real quick, I'm just going to turn into Elmo for a second. Hi, Never. Brian. Elmo speak bad English on educational show. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Let's go. It's just that Brian's been so distant lately, and, and we used to be inseparable, like Jack and Jill. Well, so then Jack takes these two pails of water and trips and totally falls down the hill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, I got a funny story. Jill had a tooth fall out, and she swallowed it, and then we had to root through her feces to find it. And we did. And then we took it to the dentist and he put it back in her mouth. So I guess we're both klutzes, huh? Why don't you spin another tail, crap tooth? No? <laughs> My turn again? Okay. Jill's barren. Hell, you I've done this to people. I've done right. this to people. The championship is on the line. It's time for information oh, they're not expecting. Oh, we're telling the stories? V? No. Ah. The stinky V. Disgusting. I'm not going to fucking discuss the, I'm not doing that. No stinky V, my nigga. Not doing that. And now I have some very uncomfortable phone calls to make. Hola, Handy Manny's Repair Shop. You break it, we fix it. Nanny, Nanny, I'm going to need you to take me off speakerphone for this. We now return to Home Alone with Competent Robbers. Hmm. Hey, be careful. There's cars on the floor here. Thanks. That's weird, huh? Yeah, the doorknob was really hot, but I just let go instead of holding on to it. And there's some ice on the stairs to the basement, so I guess just don't go down there. Just so you guys know, I have a tarantula. Well, now there are no witnesses. More culture than Europe. That's right, and I'm gonna prove it to you. I got more culture in my pinky toe than all of Europe put together. <laughs> That's some nasty shit, man. You need to get that shit looked at. You need a techno shot. That's a nasty business, man. Oh, my God.
hot. I got ringworm, too, but it's not classy like this. Otherwise, we'll be in worse shape than morbidly obese Albert. Hey, morbidly obese Albert, we brought you some chocolates. Oh, I can't eat those chocolates on account of my diabetes. Remember they had to take my foot? Look on the bright side. Now you get your shoes half price. Ha, ha, ha. All right, maybe I'll have one. So, Lauren, do you and Paris Hilton and Lindsay Lohan all hang out and go drunk driving together? I heard that Lindsay Lohan wasn't driving that night. She was taking the rap for a friend. Roadhog! Oh, no. I already have two strikes. I'll take the wheel, Mr. Magoo. I'm too old to go to prison. They'll rape me. And I'll never see them coming. No, I won't. All right, Mike, what's happening now? Well, Sipowitz is trying to find out who stabbed the super. Are you going to tell me what I want to know, or am I going to have to show you my ass? I ain't saying nothing. All right, it was Jimmy the Hat. Ah, forget it, Mike. Without actually seeing his ass, this is just radio. So let's sit back and get lost in a world of California Highway Patrol fantasy. What's the charge, officer? Driving without my phone number. Or maybe I should arrest you for being too beautiful. And now back to Jaws 5, Fire Island. You think we should be this far out? Stop worrying, Mark. We'll be fine. Hey, I'm gonna eat y'all. I'm gonna eat that hairy leg. I'm gonna eat that one, too. Hope I can see right up them shorts. I got a whole bunch of rows of teeth to chew you with. Dana, Dana, Dana. Oh, now, wait a minute. I did have a chubby kid on a raft earlier today. It's okay, though. I've been swimming a lot lately. Mmm, yummy. Mmm. We now return to Saving Private Ryan, brought to you without commercial interruption by Mazda. <laughs> <laughs> Zoom, zoom. We now return to Indiana Jones in the Temple Beth Shalom. You must be Mr. Jones. It's Dr. Jones. Oh, a doctor. You should meet my frumpy daughter. We now return to Wreck It Ralph 3. Ralph wrecks the toilet. What? <laughs> oh my god, poor Chris. He's a social outcast like Scarface. Okay, we have a deal. You bring the money, I get you the coke. You got it, Scarface. Oh my god, you can see that? The doctor said you wouldn't be able to. Yes, everyone can see that. That's why we call you Scarface. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We? And now back to the Disney Channel's exclusive presentation, Aladdin 5, Jafar Answers the Census. Okay, and how many people live in your palace? Um, does the bird count? Does the bird live here? Yes. Well, then yes, the bird counts. Uh, okay, two. Great. What is your primary source of income? Um, sorcery and a little from political corruption, but primarily sorcery. Yeah, I'll just put sorcery. Okay, um, are you gay, straight, or not sure? Uh, why are you asking me this? It's just, I, I don't, I don't write the questions. I know, it just seems a little personal. Yeah, I, I understand. You're, you're free not to answer it if that's your choice. No, 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 it's okay. You can put not sure. Well, that does it for our crossover episode. Thanks for coming, cast of Bob's Burgers. We didn't get to do anything. Show's 22 minutes long. Not everything makes it to air. But hey, you have the floor if there's something hilarious you want to say. I'll just sit here and be quiet. Give us two Emmys worth of amazing. Maybe a funny burger name? No? Girl in the bunny ears? Boy, I love it when characters are expressed by props. I kind of feel like this is less of a crossover and more of a roast. No, a roast is good-natured. No. We now return to Little House on the Prairie. Oh, that's wonderful, Mary. You're doing great with your Braille. I couldn't have done it without you, Pa. Why don't you go up to bed and get some sleep, honey? Shh. <laughs> honey, honey, you remember where the stool was. 
<laughs> oh, Mary, Mary, you're in the kitchen, sweetheart. You're all disoriented. Let me help you. The ladder's right here. Thanks, Pa. <laughs> Jeez, life was a lot tougher back then. Look, you can't expect to hire 60 workers to dig a cave under your house and then keep it a secret. I mean, those men live in this town. Yeah, but I told them it was part of a geological survey. Batman, Batman. They built a lazy Susan for your nuclear car. That's something they consider conversation-worthy. Minions 3? Yeah, and this one, Gru, has been replaced by Harvey Weinstein. Oh, you like working for bad guys? I'll show you a bad guy. Now you touch it. You know what to touch. Banana! That was a great episode of Lost, wasn't it, fellas? Well, at least the show's got the right name. Yeah, I couldn't follow any of it. <laughs> <laughs> they don't care for most things. Come on, everyone. That 80s Enough reunion show is about to start. Well, Mary, have you seen Nicholas? He's up in his room sulking, Dad. Yeah, he's still upset because Abby threw out his baseball cards. Oh, well, maybe I should make him a sandwich. <laughs> Oh, Dad, that's your solution to everything. <laughs> Dad! Ah! Dad! What? Eight is enough. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> you know, do I white love people you really girls. do that? Is that like a white. Is that a thing? Too many people get away with injustice, like the folks you meet in those Louisiana swamps. Excuse me, do you know how to get to town? Yeah, it's back the way you came. I requested Dominic the donkey like an hour ago. It's Christmas time, and I want greaseball songs. <sighs> hey, chingity ching, hee haw, hee haw! It's Dominic the donkey. Chingity ching, hee haw, hee haw! The Italian Christmas donkey, la 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 la. Oh, like the movie. La 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 Oh, Peter, come and get your lollipops. Lollipops, come along, Peter. Peter, you mustn't. I've got cream pies, trinkle tarts. Trinkle tarts? <laughs> I'm gonna get so molested. I'm great at supporting people. On Mad Men, I was Christina Hendricks' bra. Joan, can you call a meeting of the partners? Help me! Too much is being asked of me! At least you're there. I'm John Hamm's underwear. Why am I Elizabeth Moss's socks? Chris and I should switch. Yeah, let's switch. We're gonna switch. Right then and there, I vowed I would never see him again. <laughs> she said wood. <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> wood! Wood! <laughs> you're right. Wood! <laughs> We're a team and we've got to look out for each other, like Owl and Costello. I mean the fella's name on first base! Who? The fella playing first base! Who? The guy on first base! Who? I'm asking you who's on first! Who? That's what I'm asking you! Nothing will ever be funnier than misunderstandings. The exhaust shaft is only two meters wide, so you'll have to use proton torpedoes. Well, that's impossible, even for a computer. It's not impossible. I used to bullseye womp rats in my T-16 back home. They're not much bigger than two meters. Hey, uh, can I, can I, can I talk to you privately for a second? Sure. That, that, that was unnecessary. What's the problem? Well, you, you just kind of called me out in front of everybody back there. I, mean, I was, was just making a point. I know, I know, but you, like, just... Kind of sandbag me oh, in front of everyone oh, I we know. You sandbagged you? In front of all of our friends. Yeah, you sandbagged I me. I sandbagged you. You sandbagged me, well, yes. Well, here I am trying to help you. You, you, with know, something what, you that... know what? I don't need your kind of help. All right? Have a great assault, jerk. I guess I'm not the only person with a useless husband. I mean, look at Mrs. Butterworth. I still don't understand why we couldn't take my last name. Well, my last name helps keep a roof over our head and pays for your hobby. Hobby? Oh, look at that. My business line is ringing. Hello? Lamps that look like soccer balls. Yes? Okay. How many would you like to return? Yeah. Just send them here. Care of... 
Mr. Butterworth. Now, I'm going to show them that I deserve to win this award. I need this. Just like I needed my own Gregor the Mountain Clegane. Next. Hi, Gil. Uh, can I get... Round of honey ham. Cut it thin. Oh, excuse me. I believe I was next. Uh, step aside, lady. Yeah, hi, Gil. Can I try a piece of the pepper turkey? So, you see, Jumper Franklin lived across the street, you see. Jumper Franklin would always make a face like this. Dad, you're not listening. I have a serious problem. I got a girl pregnant. What do I do? And when we saw Jumper Franklin make his face, we would all make this face. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, my God. Devin, do you have a cigarette? Sure. And here's a copy of my last movie. It's essentially Brokeback Mountain from the point of view of the horses. Hey, the sun's been up for an hour. Shouldn't we get riding? Uh, are they still sleeping? I don't know. I'll check. Ah! What? Ah! What? What? Run! What is it? Oh, my God! What? Oh, my God! Ah! Run! Clearly, you need my help with this parenting thing. You're too stupid to do it alone. Besides, I know how to deal with children. Unlike Mr. Geppetto. Oh, no, I dropped my glasses. Uh, by the way, uh, Pinocchio, uh, there was a cookie missing from the jar. Did you, uh, did you take it by any chance? Yes, Papa Gibetto. I'm sorry. Are you sure you took it? Because, uh, I'd believe you if you said you didn't. No, I took it, Papa. I wouldn't lie to you. You could try. Who knows, you might get away with it. Thank heaven, the Von Trapp family escaped. Reverend Mother, I have sinned. What is this sin, my child? No oh well, no harm done. I too have sinned, Mother. Oh my God, that's a wolf! What the hell is wrong with you? Hey, I didn't start this war, but it's on. Peter's right. We just got to accept the fact that, well, we're, we're kind of cowards. I know. Yesterday I even went to a Cowards Anonymous meeting. Hello. My name's Cowardly Lion, and I'm a coward. I'm afraid of small dogs, girls with pigtails, flying monkeys. Wait, wait, there's, there's flying monkeys? That's a thing? Sure, they got sharp fangs, claws. And... God, they sound terrifying. Wait, you think so too? Yes, and fear is a logical response to actual danger. Huh, I guess you're right. Hey, I'm the rational lion, so fuck you guys. Boas, have you seen my Spider-Man socks? I can't see... Ouch! Oh, heavens! Oh, goodness gracious! That smarts! Oh, my! He can't! Well, I'll be! Yikes! Peter, when did you become so polite? Oh, I've been hanging out with Caillou's Beta Dad. In fact, I'm meeting him at the park to eat unsalted saltines on the swings. I feel like you're wearing what Rachel Maddow would wear to a pumpkin patch. I mean, it's not the first time I pretended to be someone else. I once dressed as a farmer to get a date on FarmersOnly.com. Are you Peter? Yeah. Uh, are you the gross lady who lives in the converted horse trailer? You don't have to be lonely at FarmersOnly.com It doesn't say whites only, but yeah. Listen, as men, it's only natural for us to look at naked girls. Every man does it. Even Mr. Rogers. Hello, neighbor. Oh. Peter, maybe you shouldn't do this. You've never had a lot of luck telling jokes. Okay, okay. How many dirty, stinking apes does it take to screw in a light bulb? Three. One dirty, stinking ape to screw in the light bulb, and two dirty, stinking apes to throw feces at each other. <laughs> I am going to be the first one on Spooner Street to have his own boat. Whoa, all hands on deck. I'm getting a boat. Hey, Quagmire, I'm also getting a boat, too. Right on! Woo! I can't wait to get my sea legs! Yeah! Well, at least I'll be the fattest guy on Spooner Street to get a boat. Hey, 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 I'm getting a boat. Aw, oh, man. Even Della Reese is getting a boat. After years of study, I've discovered the secret to longer life in canines. And that secret is... We interrupt this program for several episodes of One Day at a Time.
damn it, Julie. I'm a single mother doing the best damn job she knows how. And damn it, Schneider. I asked you to fix that damn sink two days ago. Oh, I'll fix your sink, Miss Romano. And by fix your sink, I mean I'll have sex with you. And by have sex with you, I mean I'll fix your sink. And oh. by sink, I mean your reproductive organ. <laughs> And by reproductive organ, I mean the thing between your knees. And by the thing between your knees, I... Well, I guess that one's kind of self-explanatory. Speed, I do not think you should be in this race. Ha-ha, the Mach 5 is not ready. Ha-ha. But, Pops, I must be in this race. Ha-ha. Very well. Uh-uh, but you know I am not really your father. Ha-ha. Oh. Mom? Dad? I really like Potsy. Why not, dear? Potsy's a very nice boy. Uh, no, Mom. I, I mean, I really like Potsy. We heard you the first time, son. You have a homosexual attraction to Potsy. I was the original pretty woman. You look beautiful, but there's something missing. The vagina? <laughs> she said yes. My God, I'm cooler than that cheetah from the commercials. There is no fucking drummer better than Neil Peart! Oh. It ain't easy being cheesy. Damn. Holy crap, it's the Breakfast Club! Is it? You know what I got for Christmas? It was a banner freaking year at the Tiger House. I got a carton of cigarettes. Old man grabbed me and said, Hey, smoke up, Tony. They're great! Ah! Bastard. Bastard. Looks like a nude Larry David. No, no, no! Oh my god, Super Mario! What are you doing here? I jump on a turtle, Stewie. It's not an exciting life, but it's my life. They call me Bill. Yes, they call me Bill. And I'm standing here on Capitol. Oh! Ah! We now return to ST, the special terrestrial. Hi! We now return to A Christmas Carol. I am the ghost of Christmas past. Oh, hello. I am here to show you how you lost your way. Um, oh, okay. Uh, how long is this gonna take? I don't know, maybe eight minutes? Okay, hang on, I, I just gotta use the bathroom. Well done joke. So funny. Dude, this has me on the edge of my seat. This is so funny. Man, I'm rich. Tell me, man. I don't know who I wrote this, am but the ghost of Christmas. So good. Wait, you so good. gone yet? No. So good. Okay, here we go. So good. Sorry, this is turning into something else. We now return to the extended director's cut of Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Charlie, don't forget what happened to the boy who got everything he ever wanted. What? He lived happily ever after, but he did have to earn it. Hint, hint. Do it, Charlie! I'm not going back to that four-person bed! Hell, I'll do it if you want! No, it has to be a child! We now return to Pirates of the Caribbean, where the sound guy put the microphone too close to Johnny Depp's jangling bracelets. Hold it right there, Sparrow. This is the day you will always remember as the day you almost caught Captain Jack Sparrow. What? I said, I've spent $65 million on vacation homes in daytime wild. We now return to yet another Indiana Jones movie. Snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? Elderly potheads. Why did it have to be elderly potheads? Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to comment, like, and don't subscribe. It's your Wood Blast from Sage D. Twizzles.